What's up, guys? I'm Morel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this motherfucker. Join me as I read you you all's motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this Piscean reading. You must say the cards for all of my Piscean gods. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Mars. Let's see what's going down, you guys. I have a few questions that I wanted to ask for Pisces. And as I was premeditating on the energies, I feel like there could be a lot of immature type of uh, vibes coming from your person. Okay? Or somebody's not being very cooperative. They're being very petty. This could be just the way that they're moving, okay, or the way that they move around you. This also could be them messaging, text messages, just little um, annoyances is what I'm picking up, Pisces. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Today, we're going to be asking who is coming towards you and um, what they want to say to you, Pisces. But I was getting the vibes already that somebody has to unplug from a lot of immaturities, Pisces. I also feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be practicing a lot of self-love. Okay, this bitch got bags and herbs and potions and Greek, Greek bags. Okay, some of you guys might be practicing self-love. You might be putting love into yourself. This could be shopping. Okay, this could be uh, your health, taking care of your health. Could be taking care of your looks. So, I feel like a lot of my Pisces don't have that problem, but it's like dealing with people who don't want to take care of themselves. Now, there could have been something that you feel you have. It could have been a change of emotions, all right? I feel with the tower energy here, it says unplug and relax for a spell. You might have been dealing with a scorpion energy, but I feel like some of you guys are taking a break or there could be you trying to take a leave of absence, okay? <laughs> but I do get overall, Pisces, um, you got a lot that you're getting ready to manifest. This could be um, within a friendship or this also could be uh, how you're going to fix what needs to be repaired in this motherfucker, okay? Some of y'all might be putting in y'all handy dandy notebook and workbook and y'all uh and y'all brains okay <laughs> and making shit um you know work for yourself so Pisces let's see what's up who's coming towards my Pisces who is coming towards my Pisces one more shuffle on this bitch and while you're here, make sure that you hit that motherfucking like, share, and subscribe button in this hoe. I did just see the page of swords. And thank you to all my new Pisces for tuning in. So, here we go. Pisces. Who was coming towards my Pisces? All right, we got Queen of Pentacles coming out. Very first card. So... Some of you guys aren't going to have any problems with your finances, okay? Now, you also have the Nine of Wands here, Page of Wands. I'm seeing a lot of pages here, okay? So, this could be somebody that you had a little insta start with, okay? But look, I got to get my... <laughs> this is, I got to get the weed on this one, damn it. So, I feel like for some of you Pisces, this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a lot of immature energy. I'm also seeing an Aries here. With this emperor and hermit in reverse. I feel like somebody plays around a lot. Or uh, they don't know how to consistently text. Okay. Or this person doesn't know how to 
uh, juggle multiple things all at once. They have an experience that is what I'm seeing here. But whoever's coming towards you with the Emperor in reverse, Page of Wands, definitely someone who could be younger or a younger energy here. But I'm also seeing somebody that's not in control, okay? You got the fool at the bottom of the deck, so somebody who just does whatever. This could be another Piscean energy. I'm also seeing Kansetti in here. A lot of majors here. So somebody is playing in the uh, major leagues, baby. Okay. Also could be Scorpion energy or someone that you definitely blocked off with this judgment and this tower. Virgo and energy with the hermit. You got somebody who's trying to come all of a sudden with this fool here. Could have been somebody you turned your back on. I did just see the Eight of Cups. Also Six of Wands. Could be some things taking place online. Okay. But definitely a Virgo and Taurus Capricorn with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody who acts all independent. Okay. Somebody that could have been studying a situation or had a lot of things up in the air. Or they just felt like they were withdrawn from a situation, turning down offers. Ace of Wands here. So Leo Sagittarius Aries. Somebody that's blocked off. Let me get my cards. I want to clarify this. So for some of you all, this could be Scorpion, Virgo and energy here. I'm also seeing somebody that you could have sexual relations with or somebody might be trying to hit you up on some sex. With this Ace of Wands, also Tower. Okay, this nigga's bucky naked, baby. <laughs> so I feel like this could be somebody you didn't see in their ass. They didn't show you their ass. Okay, also could be <laughs> Scorpion Energy. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Somebody's got their dick in their hands, baby. It says not good. Okay, and fluid. So I feel like this person definitely is going through some sort of toxic situation. Okay, somebody could be acting very desperate here for some of you Pisces. Okay, or somebody's in some desperation to make a situation more than what the fuck it is. Okay. You also got transportation. This could be somebody who's having a hard time getting to you. Putting uh, two on pump three. <laughs> so, could be this person's transportation or a distance. <laughs> but I'm also getting that this person is definitely toxic or it could be dealing with a situation where you have to stay fluid. Um, but I really feel like a lot of you guys are just like, fuck this motherfucker, okay? But there could be somebody who's acting very desperate or there could be some desperation around this person. You got crying here. So whoever's coming towards you could have been crying. They crying over you, Pisces. Uh-oh. We also got side piece. So a side piece could be coming to you. Oh, shit. Okay, this could be somebody who is a side piece or you might find out that you're a side piece. Very interesting. This could have been somebody from your past. But I feel whoever's coming towards you, somebody that you are not vibing with and they are watching your little monkey ass. <laughs> Pisces. There's a fight that could go down or somebody is fighting reaching out to you I feel like somebody's gonna uh, like let time pass or there could be somebody who is acting like time needs to pass but you got lovers and friends and sit your ass down oh shit so Pisces I feel like somebody needs to just Put the situation to rest for some of you guys, okay? This also could be very toxic. Somebody doesn't know whether or not they come in, staying or going. I also feel like somebody feels like they have to do the extra shit that they're supposed to do. You know those, uh, like, intermittent things you're supposed to do when you first meet somebody. I feel like somebody's afraid to, uh, to reach out, okay, to conversate. I also feel like somebody feels like they're losing out or they could be losing out on the situation. Because it could have been somebody that you rolled up with, okay? <laughs> but I feel an ex is here. So 
So, this either could be an ex, somebody you broke up with, that's coming towards you. So, let's see what they want to say to your motherfucking ass, Pisces. Because I feel like this motherfucker ain't talking about shit. They just be flappity flappity they gums all the time and they ain't talking about nothing. This could be about some finances as well with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm definitely getting Scorpion energy here. So, let's see what's up. Pisces. What do they want to say to my Pisces? Very first card out is Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. They're not finished. They're not done with this. They feel like the situation is definitely destined with this lover's energy here. It could be dealing with a Gemini. But I also feel with this judgment, somebody is not really seeing the light. They could be going in and out of their motherfucking head is what they want to say to you. Eight of Cup energy here. Uh, I feel like somebody needs to like pace themselves or you could have been dealing with somebody who always left all the time or was walking away from a situation and i feel like they have a lot of regrets because they walked away or they left you feeling uh i feel like they left you uh you know a lot of cold energy here but i do feel with the three of pentacles and also the ten of pentacles somebody's going to try to make a situation work Okay, or this could be financial. They're going to try to make a situation work out. But I also feel like this person's juggling some shit here. Now, Page of Swords up in this motherfucker. So they want to tell you that they've been looking, they've been lurking, they've been watching. Okay, they also want to tell you that they've been seeing what you've been doing as well, Pisces. You got the High Priestess in this motherfucker. Also, Four of Pentacles. They see that you're holding on to a situation, holding on to your finances as well. This person definitely uh, feels as though... You showing up and showing out. You flexing on these hoes, Pisces. You also got the three of cup energy here. So they feel like you could keep them in the third party or you're just uh, a lot of entertainment or you just, it's just a lot of energy that they enjoy being around you. But I feel like this person is very flighty, okay, with what their uh, direction or what their aim is, Pisces. So, let's see the advice. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands. It's saying to leave this motherfucker in, in the rain. <laughs> I'm also seeing Empress Energy here saying to just take care of your motherfucking stuff. You might have to cut people off before they try to cut you off. Okay, people be playing them games out here. Yeah, Nine of Sword Energy. Also, three of... Juan, so definitely leaving this person behind. Okay, like I told y'all with this card, it's like this bitch is pushing something back with her foot, like smooth. Yeah, no Pisces, we rule the feet. So I feel like you need to get to walking first. Okay. <laughs> get to moving first. Send a sword energy here. So I feel like there could be an end with a Virgo and Taurus, Capricorn, and then you got the sun energy. So I feel like once you put an end to this, because things are moving very slowly with this Knight of uh, Pentacles, I feel like if somebody's moving too slow, you're going to see the truth. All right, Magician Energy here, Five of Cups. You're no longer going to stay in the energy where it's very toxic, okay? But I do feel like with the Devil and the Ten of Cups, you're going to see some happiness at the end of the motherfucking light. Now, with this Page of Pentacles, you might hear... Where somebody's made a decision. It could be that there's a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries where they're guarded. But I'm also seeing with the Six of uh, six of Wands here, there might be some interest that's happening online as well too. But you're leaving a major toxic situation behind that could have been very entangled. And somebody is untangled, untangling all the webs. Okay, and coming up all the coochie cobwebs. <laughs> and coming into official happiness, okay, for some of you guys. That's definitely what I'm getting here. So some of these little dusties, y'all gonna have to leave them on alone first. All right. And I'm gonna get the advice cards for my Pisces before I get on out of here. So cross watchers, that means that y'all need to put in some efforts, okay? If you are trying to fuck with Pisces, you need to show them what happiness is, okay? 
Otherwise, you're going to get left in the dust. So we got confront. So Pisces, there's something you're getting ready to confront. This could be some shadow work or you being on that shadow side. I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to seek and find balance coming into your life. You might definitely be taking care of that base chakra as well. This could be your love chakra, your coochie chakra, your dick chakra, all that shit. Those vibrations that come from down there for a lot of you Pisces. I feel like a lot of you are revamping this entire, um, you know, I feel like you're seeking peace here, okay, with or without somebody. And I feel like for some of you guys, you guys got somebody giving and receiving and balance here. So whoever's wanting to show you that balance, they're going to take this lead, okay, because you got love at the bottom of the deck. So if somebody wants to share that shit, they're going to come towards you and they're going to show it toward, they're going to show it. Okay, but other than that, y'all motherfuckers need to go on ahead and end cycles with motherfuckers. But I do see that tower, so somebody's going to be all of a sudden, or there could be like just some things you did not expect happening emotionally wise, okay? So just be careful with that Ace of Wands, uh, Ace of Swords. So I do see somebody wanting to communicate with you, but I just feel like you want, you need to take the lead in love, okay? If you want to walk away from a situation, walk away from a motherfucker, okay? <laughs> You don't need to be waiting for nobody. Okay? Straight like that. You make your own dreams come motherfucking true. You got joy and stability coming up as well and flow here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are navigating yourself towards somebody that could be, okay, in that circle. If you see he got a whole navigation system behind him, he's navigating himself into those waters, baby. Into that flow. Pisces, don't do me, motherfuckers. You got joy and stability coming up. So, I feel there might be some demons you might need to confront or your person. But once you do, you're taking off on that high road, okay? I'll claim this reading, baby. I'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Peace.